It's time to play the over under game. Because it's seven o'clock. Let's do it. <sighs> yeah, the over under game. Uh, Grant's feeling really good about himself, by the way. We tied last week. So, Grant, Grant. <laughs> Big A. Hey, so, so many people I want to thank. So many people I want to thank. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, you can do it after the show, bud. But <laughs> offense. Let's we're going to do it a little bit different. Instead of doing player specific, we're going to do just the whole team specific this week. A little a little change to things. So, here All we right. go. Offense. Over or under 31 and a half run attempts this week for the offense. Over. You're close on that cuz I know you I you I, you know what I did is I listened to your show earlier and guess what you said I want I want Mitchell to be around 18 and McCaffrey to be around 10 14 and then yeah with, with Tebow like yeah exactly and a half, you know, that's going to hold them tight yeah oh, that's fair oh man hmm. over I think they should be passing more but I think Kyle's pretty stubborn and he wants to play the offense the way he wants to play so he, they're going to run the damn they're going to run the hell out of the ball yeah I'll I'll go over as well but I think this one might be close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over. Okay, okay, let's let's go to the flip side. Over right. or under 31 and a half pass attempts. Hmm. Over somehow. It could be. I mean, you do 60 something plays a game. It's definitely possible. Yeah. I'm gonna go under. I okay. think this is the week where they finally win a game early. They finally don't have to go into the fourth quarter tight and wondering if they're going to win the game this is a game that they're going to win early enough to where they're just going to run the ball so i'm going to go under on this one i like it over or under one and a half passing touchdowns this week hmm. under i think kyle shanahan's trying to keep the glory <laughs> away from jimmy man i think he wants to run the ball in the end zone this year gosh jimmy's going to get two touchdowns and no turnovers he's in a break he's going to break the three game streak that he's never been able to get without having a turnover. This is the game. No turnovers, two touchdowns. I'm calling it. He's Jimmy's, never done it in Jimmy's his career. career. Never had three straight games without a turnover. That doesn't bode well. This is it. He, this is the second time he's tried this year, by the way. He had the opportunity earlier this year against Atlanta, and that didn't work out. So this okay. time he's going to do it, though. He's finally going to get over the hump. All right. One and a half sacks given up. Over. Yeah, Jimmy's got happy feet still. <laughs> it's, yeah, I agree. Is Michael Glitch still playing? Yeah, all right, sweet. Oh, what? Yeah. Over. Yeah, I'm going to go over as well. I'm going to go over as uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. All right. Over under 0.5 turnovers. You over. Know what's at stake here? Over. Is it coming from Jimmy? Is he going to. I don't, to to I don't have no, to say. I don't have to say. Okay, fair enough. You, you know what though? I almost, I almost threw you a bone and gave you extra credit, like a, a half point extra credit, and gave you the win last week because the over under game we talked about an interception, and I said under they, that the Chargers wouldn't throw an interception because Herbert has a low percentage of turnover worthy plays, and you go, he hasn't played Talanoa who funky. <laughs> yeah. See, that's pretty, that's pretty cut. legit. That's pretty legit. That's pretty legit. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's where the turnover came from. That's, that's I love legit. Tal Noah Funga. That's great. Love it. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go under on the 0.5 turnovers. All right. Defense. Over or under 280.5 yards given up total. Over. Over. Where's it going to come from? Cole McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James Conner. Gosh. James Conner. I don't see it, man. I No, I'm going under. I'm going. We got a lot of differences this week. This, this is a good one. I'm going under on this one. Okay. Over or under one and a half TDs against for the defense. Over. So Dude, this Cole it. McCoy offense is a menace. It's so good. <laughs> it's a menace to society. It is. Uh, I'm going under on this. 
They're not oh, going to get two touchdowns week. this game. This is my week. I make, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Over or under 41.5% third down conversion rate given up? Over. <laughs> <laughs> Over, baby. This is right, by the way, this is right at their season average. So this is an interesting one. Okay. They do have games, though, where they completely let this all up and. <laughs> like what if Trace McSorley plays? I'm going to lose big time. It could be Trace McSorley. This is the, the risk I take. Yeah, could be. Um, I almost want to say under just for the sake of argument. I'm going to go over, though. I think that they actually do convert on more than 41.5%. Okay. This one every week is so close. Over or under two and a half seat, uh, sacks for the uh, defense. <laughs> under. Under this under. week. Under. You went over last week and you won because of the backup quarterback. Yeah. Okay, I'll go over then. I'm. We'll switch it up. I'll go over. You go under. That's perfect. That's perfect. Right, okay. Okay. Let me over, let me tell under. you my. Okay, oh, go yeah, on. Do it. Go. No, keep no, going. Keep going. Keep going. No, when we're done, I'm going to talk. A, okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll talk. Okay. I'll talk big picture about Colt McCoy and Kyler Murray after. Okay. Over under 0.5 turnovers forced by the defense. Over. I'm gonna say over. I feel like the defense is I'm I don't have to justify this. Over. Yeah, it's tough because if Colt McCoy plays, I feel like he's gonna protect the ball probably. But if it's not Colt McCoy, gosh, this is a crapshoot. I'll go over because fluky things happen. All right. No, say under. Here. Oh <laughs> okay. I can't do it. What I wanted to say is I actually think it's possible that the Cardinals are better with Colt McCoy than okay. Kyler Murray. I like Kyler Murray a lot, but I think they haven't developed him, and he's in a weird kind of gimmicky offense. And he, the, he reminds me so much of Michael Vick when we were kids. Like, overly reliant, a great freaking athlete. Like, underrated as an athlete. This guy is an amazing athlete, but over-reliant on his athleticism. And the way I remember Michael Vick was... He always had a certain degree of success because he was the best athlete in the league, but he played his best ball when he was older in Philly when he w linked up with Andy Reid and he really learned how to play quarterback. At that, like 30 year old Michael Vick was better than 23 year old Michael Vick the way I remember it. And I feel like Kyler Murray could become that guy, but right now he's young Michael Vick and I. I don't even know like what his process is. At least Colt McCoy is like can go from A to B to C and can kind of like operate that offense the way it's supposed to be. And I don't even think much of that offense. It's it's kind of a high schooly offense. But Kyler needs to go to a real coach and really get developed because he's not it's, he's he's not it's not happening for him in Arizona. The, there's also some validity to the height thing because he does not throw over the middle a lot. No, he very no. rarely throws over the middle, and it's. Frankly, it's because he can't see over the middle. It's there's there's something to that, and so just from a physical limitation standpoint, you know what offense he would be successful in? Mike Shanahan's offense, this not one. Kyle's. Mike Shanahan's. Let's get him, him outside. Out. Jake yeah. Plummer. The yeah, he would crush Hell yeah. it in that offense. He Absolutely really would crush it. Yep, I think he would. So that's why I feel like he's got a future, but in the present. If he doesn't play and Colt McCoy does, that's not necessarily good news for the Niners because the last two times the Niners faced Kyler Murray, they held him to 12 points and 17 points. Mm. Last time the Niners faced Colt McCoy, they gave up 31 with Talanoa on the field, Bosa on the field. So maybe they just didn't take him seriously. The Niners definitely played down to their opponents. They've done it for a while. But uh, I think there might be something to this. And we haven't even talked about Call of Duty. What, you know what I'm saying? That is... Yeah. That is... That is... <laughs> <laughs> statistical fact that is proven that this guy doesn't play as well when call of duty whatever comes out and it came out so i don't know i i have to I, so i'm doing the behind enemy lines normally i do it right after this show but this week i'm doing it tomorrow so but i'm going on with a a blue a legit blue check mark not a bot blue check mark uh for the arizona cardinals and <laughs> and I've got to ask him if there's any like validity to this whole Call of Duty thing because you hear it as kind of a joke, but then there's like statistics out there that say that it's a. Re I don't know. I'm curious the, to see what he says about it. The Cardinals put credence into it when they put that homework clause into his contract. I yeah, mean, that that's was kind of true. That was not good. Mike Henry says, uh, "Would it work to switch Burford and McGlinchey? 
Could McGlinchey play right guard, Burford right tackle? I actually think McGlinchey would be worse as a guard. I mean, his problem is he's he too can't, big. For- like his pro- oh. he can't handle power. All of a sudden, he's going to handle defensive tackles. He's six eight. Like it'll be worse. You'd be better off moving him to tight end at this point and making him a blocking tight end. McKivitz or I, Burford could play right tackle. By the way, he might be potentially the future right tackle because he did play that a lot in college. But McGlinchey at guard, I don't think it would work. He's too tall, plays too upright, and I think I think McKivitz would just be good to throw in at right tackle. <laughs> that might work too. <laughs> Raymond says Kyler will be a professional gamer on Twitch in two years. Oh, I like it. Is Kurt Bankert a professional gamer on Twitch? Anyway, he just got uh, cut. Sorry, Kurt. He follows me on yeah. Twitter, so we're friends. Yeah, dude, I don't know. <laughs> this was the funniest exchange I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if you saw this. So he said, I've been cut by the 49ers. Somebody, somebody who's a total a-hole on Twitter that I can't stand literally takes it and goes, what's your source? He goes, <laughs> Me? Like what? And the guy responds, oh, okay. What? What do you mean? He's the freaking player. What's your source? Alex uh, Boone was a lot more, it was a lot stronger than uh, Mike McGlitchie. Yeah. Yeah. He was 100%. Uh, 